Nitty Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Hey, man, Bruce City Ballers, I'm back in the building with a very special guest, my brother, Amherst Logic. What's happening with it, bro? Hey, salute, salute, 78 Sports TV, the general. Salute to the LDBC. Appreciate you having me on your platform to talk about these bucks, bro. Always a pleasure to speak with you on these bucks, bro. Salutes to you and, uh, like I said, the LDBC and everything you, you all got going over there on the channel, bro. Support yes, it all. Man, I appreciate you, good brother. Appreciate it. Uh, man, so let's talk about it, man. The bucks. Right. Look. All right, Rocky start. We got Rocky start going. But last three or four games, we've been balling, man. But I think we've been playing hard. I, I definitely think we've been playing with a lot more energy. I, I agree sure. with you there. Um, I've, I've been appreciating the effort Fact. that the guys are playing with. You know, Dame has been hurt due to a, a concussion or something, they say. Right. Uh, we have Rollins, the backup point guard, who played well, and got then hurt. he got hurt. <laughs> Crazy, man. Bobby was out for a game, one game. It was Giannis and like the three amigos or something out there. Bro, right? it was Giannis and the herd. Yeah, yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Right. But, but we was able to pull it off. But one thing I've noticed the last couple games, okay, is that it's even at home, bro. At home and on the road now with with, with the Hornets, they're they're not giving Giannis superstar calls at all. Oh. I thought first they was doing it because we had Giannis and Dane, and they didn't want to give yeah. both guys superstar calls. Right, right. But Dane hasn't been playing. <laughs> so why why are y'all doing Giannis like this? The only thing I could think of is that they're they're trying to frustrate Giannis to leave Milwaukee. Bro. Correct. That's what they want. Correct. Let's look at these numbers here, man. All right. <laughs> the Charlotte Hornets, the Bucks won, lost by one point. We should have easily won this game. We had the game one, um, and Torrey Prince shot to him had twenty three points, his best game of the season by far. Uh, referee, said, no, I just want to interject here briefly. Seventy eight. Uh -huh. I think we got to shout out Torrey and Prince. He's been yeah. our best free agent pickup so far, low key. For sure, he has. Definitely has. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Torrey Prince had definitely earned uh, my respect with that game he just put out. Um, Giannis. Finished the game with 22 points. However, Giannis <laughs> shot the ball 22 times and only shot oh, wow. one free throw. It's crazy. One free throw for Giannis. Don't Giannis lead the league in free throw attempts or something? Yeah, they're trying to. They don't like that. But all of a sudden, he he only shoot one free throw. Man, th this is disgusting behavior from the NBA. Disgusting. So Giannis, and had Giannis even shot. Seven, eight free throws, we win this game. Correct. Correct. This was all, man, whatever. Rig, Rig City. But I will say the Bucks were shooting themselves in the foot on the offensive rebounder. We got to get better at rebounding and crashing the boards. Yeah. That's killing yeah. us. That's killing us, 78. For sure, man. Not crashing the boards is something has been a problem for the last couple years with the Bucks. I don't know. We shoot, we want it done. Like we shoot. And we rushing back to defense because we're so old. Oh, bro, that's the thing. See, that's what the truth is. Mm -hmm. People don't want to say why they keep leaking out. What right. you just said is exactly why they leak out. Because they don't got the legs to cover the ground if something go left. So they right. trying to get ahead of it, even if that costs them a rebound, which don't make sense. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Um, You know, right. And I've noticed that for the last couple of years. The Bucks will not crash the boards because oh. we were getting beat so easily. They just run down court. The other team run down court. We got nobody down there because we're not playing the young players. They're, so they're we got Brooke Lopez slow as ever. We're on hey. the court, and you know, we got all these old guys, and uh, uh, and, and nobody rushes back on defense. So now, no. instead of crashing the boards, guys try to get a, a, a head start. And they run back on defense, <laughs> and nobody crashed the ball to, to, to allow somebody to blow right past them when they when they uh, stationary oh. on defense. Running back oh, yeah. to let somebody blow past them for them not to uh, run over the screen. And the thing is, too, like all in all seriousness, seventy eight. 
I don't know how we can look at this team with Brooke and Bobby still on here because they impact this team in such a negative way sometimes. I, I just think we're better without them. Like, Brooke cannot play against athletic, athletic big men at all. If you can shoot the three or shoot it all, Brooke is going to have problems. Brooke can only play against centers that are traditional centers that are in the post or maybe shoot a mid-range. But if you got any athleticism to shoot a three, Brooke becomes unplayable. That's all facts, man. I just – I have a hard time, man. Like, uh, I'm I'm emotionally attached to the Bucks, man. Mm-hmm. And, I like, I love Brooke, man. But I, I, you're right. You're absolutely right, bro. He got – I mean, we got to trade him at this point. He got to go. We got to trade him, man. He like, got to go, bro. And it's not like we don't appreciate, bro, what you've done. You helped us win a championship. Yeah. You are, you are a defensive player of the year, runner-up. But the game has passed him by, bro. The game is too fast for him now. And he's not shooting well like he used to. He's struggling from three on top of it. And that was supposed to be his benefit. He's shooting like 20-some percent from three. That doesn't really yeah, help. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not that's And, you don't, rebound. and yeah. you don't rebound. It's right, like, right. You can't be seven foot something. And, and then you shooting, you, you spacing the floor out. You're shooting threes, but you're not hitting them. And on top of that, you ain't getting no rebound. It's like, bro, get out of the way. Bro, that? get out of the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at this point, at this point, you a liability. You know what I'm saying? He told that man to get out of the way. Go ahead. <laughs> now, now, this is, the crazy part is, this is Pat Content's best game, I think, this year. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Pat Content had, what do you have, uh, 10 points? Yeah. Four for eight shooting. Um, he, You know, he had six, well, he had seven rebounds. Um, so Pat Conton had a good game off the bench. Uh, Brooke Lopez Eric, had three rebounds, the same as the line right and less than Bobby. And Pat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. is insane! Unbelievable. Shout out to Bobby. Bobby had 21 points, right? Um, now my thing is this this I'm I'm angle, I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. The thing that's gonna upset me the most about the books, bro. If they allow, because I believe, I know uh, uh, Marshawn Bochamp is young, and I know he makes mistakes. I think you have to let him make his mistakes and learn from them. Facts. I think that uh, Pat Content is valuable in the playoffs, but right now you need to let this guy play and see what he can do. See if he can come in and and, and get put, you know, see if he can he can he can make a name for himself uh, uh, in real game time action. I think that I'm, I'm going to be highly upset if the Bucks let Bochamp go and he ended up being a decent, solid role play. Yeah, yeah, a solid solid role play for anybody. Right. I'm going to be high. Because you're giving him Pat C. Pat C should be on the bench. And, and Marjan should have those minutes to at least see what he got. You already know what Pat is. What, what are, you know what I'm saying? Like, is, That's all I'm saying. Because you can't tell me that Marshawn Bochamp can't do what Pat Conte giving us right now. Oh yeah, that that's that's the, that's the point. And he younger, more athletic. He's mm-hmm. a bigger body. He can play better defense. That's the that's that's what I don't I don't like about Doc. That's Doc Boy. That's part of the problem. Yeah, he, he, loves, he is loves Doc Boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Doc loved Pat for some weird weird Man. reason. You know, remember remember we couldn't understand how why uh uh, uh no no what, what's what's what, oh yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> George. <laughs> George Hill was in, uh, uh, was a uh, what's the coach name? Who Bud. Knows? Coach Bud loved George Hill. I mean, he loved George Hill, and we like, but why do you keep playing George Hill, fam? George Hill is trash, fam. He loved George Hill. Trade it and then feel away, then trade it. Right, right, right. Trade to get him back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, and this is every coach got they one. You know, what I'm right, right. They, they, the Brown knows her. I could tell Pat the Brown knows in the locker room. Fact. He, he the one who be you know, hey Doc, uh, I bought you some. I went to. I stopped by the Dunkin' Donuts. I got you a few. You know these, the, the uh, apple crisp or whatever the kill. You know mm-hmm. all that old mess. Oh, thanks, Pat. That's very considerate. You know, oh mess like that. You know, stopping at Starburst, get him that nasty turkey right. sandwich. So that's that's what they doing. And Doc love, he loves his cat. But the rest of the Bucks know Pat Conton. I look, man, 
I wouldn't mind if Pat or Chris Milton right now was on our bench as, as one of the assistant coaches. I wouldn't mind it. Hilarious that she threw Chris Middleton. But, 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 you know, speaking of Chris Middleton, man, what, what do you think, bro? What's going on? I'm, I'm not sure what to think of Middleton. I, I'm just not sure. I feel like this injury is taking way longer than people anticipated. And I feel like the, uh, organization let the fans down by not telling them the truth mm-hmm. about the state of Chris Middleton's injury. You know what I'm saying? I felt like if they knew that he was going to be gone for an extended amount of time to just say that, not to say, oh, he's going to be there for training camp, oh, he'll be there for uh, for the first game, uh, uh, preseason. Just all of this stuff that never happened when you knew that he was going to be out for an extended amount of time. You know what I'm saying? And then now the thing is with Chris, he done already missed, what, 10 games. He probably not coming back in the next two, three weeks. So he already down 15, 20 games. Chris so at the most, you're looking at getting term. 50 games. You, you, you're looking at getting 50 games out of Chris. And it's like, that's not fair to the fans, the organization, or Giannis. And I, I keep saying that Chris injuries is a direct of, uh, correlation with Giannis being burnt out by the end of the year, getting hurt, going into the playoff, because he has to shoulder so much of the low because Chris is never available. Right. Even even before Dame was hurt, Dame and Giannis was playing 40 minutes. Right. 40 minutes, bro. Yep. And that's because Middleton ain't available, and this team is top-heavy. When you don't have all your stars, it put a strain on the entire team. Like, we got Chris got to do something. He either is going to have to deal with the reality, he Brandon Roy and need to hang it up, or he need to come back and start hooping and not miss a game when he come back. It got to be one or the other, but he got to pick a struggle. Man, I heard – I don't know how true this is. I heard Chris Mutz ain't going to be back until after the All-Star game. <laughs> if that's true, man, <laughs> bro, like, I mean, are we even going to be in playoff contention? That bro, happens? that's what I'm saying. Not saying the young guys can't cook and do so, but that's a lot that you asking the young guys to do in today's NBA. It, that's a lot. It is. It is. That's a lot. I mean, ideally, it would be great to have Chris Milton, Giannis, and Dane healthy going into the playoffs. But Correct. We got to be in the playoffs. We got to be in the playoffs because we still haven't seen all three of them play together. Correct. For an extended period of time. So we don't even know how good that that trio is. You know what I'm saying? Um, they but, don't even know. Like, that's this, right. this is all so – it's nuts, man. It's nuts. It's crazy, bro. It's uh, crazy. But, uh, let me ask you this, though. Um, okay, what do you think Doc can do right now? I, I'm liking the fact that he's playing mm-hmm. a lot of young players. I think that he has no choice now, but, you know, I like the fact that he's playing some of the young players, giving them opportunities, right. you know, and, and I think they're playing hard, bringing a lot of energy to the, to the game. What do you think about – what Doc can do to, uh, from a coach's standpoint to help the team? I think the only thing he can do is just con- continue to play the young talent and really believe in the young talent. Don't be yanking them if they make some mistakes. Let them play through it. I think he's been doing a pretty good job doing that. Andre Jackson Jr. has been getting heavy minutes and producing. I believe he had 14 points last game, hitting a couple corner threes. If he can just do that and just be that Swiss Army knife, I, I think that's a positive A.J. Green has been shooting pretty solid. He's pretty much out of his slump. Gary Trent Jr. has been playing better. He's finally out of his slump. He had had two games in a row of shooting decent. The other, I mean, like, it's just got to be playing the young dudes. That's it. And I really want to see Tyler Smith. I, I, I just I just feel like he might be able to give us something where we could shift right. the lineup a little bit and have another big and maybe try an alternative at center instead of uh, Brooke. If that's Giannis, if that's Bobby, but just something to switch it up because Brooke is unplayable against faster teams and you still need some size out there. So I think Tyler Smith should really be starting to get a look to see what he can do at this point. I also want to see A.J. Johnson back up from the herd and see what he can do. I, I'm with all with the youth movement. We don't have a choice at this point. We don't have no draft picks. Right. Uh, 31. So we got to let these young guys cook and, and let's put them all out there and see who good and not good at this point. That's why not? I agree. Like, I don't know what we waiting on. Like, uh, I'm so tired of seeing ex Bucks players hooping for somebody else. I'm tired. Right. Of, 
it's really irritating me. Cause I'm like, man, we had this dude, man. He was with the Bucks, man. Right, Dave Vincenzo, Merrill, so right. many, uh, Grayson Allen playing better over there in right. Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yep, and, and, and Grayson Allen, uh, defense was underrated. Right. Him, Drew, we had a decent uh, backcourt as far as defense goes. And defensively, right. Yeah, and now, you know, we got, you know, everybody know Dame don't really play no defense. Right. You know, so um, they they don't, they don't have a young boy. Uh, you know, wow. out there. And Rollins, hopefully Rollins can – can, can step up and do what he gotta do. Yeah. And, um, uh, Action Jackson can do his thing as well, help him out. But yeah, the Bucks gotta have some better defensive schemes. I'm, I mean, everybody keeps talking about three point defense, but man, I'm so irritated with how easily people get to the basket on us, bro. Like Every, just, everything is bad, bro. Every, our defense is just bad. It's just bad. It is, it's horrible. It's horrible. You know what I mean? But you, but it don't help. Like you got Dame. So this is the problem. You can't have the any of these scenarios and it's going to be all bad if you got the three stooges out there at all at the same time as pat connaughton brooke and bobby they're going to go on the run because all three of them can't play no defense right or if you have like uh brooke and dame at the same time the problem with that is they're going to put them in action and run them in a pick and roll and they yeah. know that dame can't run over the screen and and, and uh brooke can't move and they be killing <laughs> they, kill they kill us. Yeah, they they challenge Brooke like they really be treating Brooke like he's soft, man. Like oh, people just—I mean, I've I seen I've seen dudes 160 pounds just go up and try to bam on Brooke. I'm like, what the? What is this? Nothing. Just I Brooke, read about the Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, just being yeah. physical with Brooke. Right, like he a sucker or something, man. man. So this this is this is bad business, man. But. I feel bad for Giannis because I see him out there in Cooper. He trying, and the NBA clearly wants to frustrate him, and they want to get him out of Milwaukee. The media, you oh, see immediately. the media. All these YouTubers, bro. I, I, I'm talking about, man, if I type in Milwaukee Bucks on YouTube, all I see is Giannis wants out. Right. Giannis to be traded to this team or that team. Uh, how long will Giannis want to stay with the trash Milwaukee Bucks? And Wait, well, hold up, bro. Hold up. Yes, never seen one out. Just like that Bucks Digest channel, they love the clickbait. The so and so, oh gets man, That's oh they bro, man, they be on it every day. It's some type of a Bucks rumor or lie. Facts. He said so, rumor or lie, right? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Chris Milton being traded for LeBron James. Like, oh, really? Really? Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. Let's do look, it. We can, we can take that. I take that trade. Let's go. Right. You know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's all ridiculous, man. But so uh anyway, man, we ain't gonna hold up too long, bro. But tell the people they can find you, bro. Hey, first of all, I just want to shout out 78, man. He's one of the reasons I even got into this and kept pushing was because of 78 and his support. He one of the real good dudes on YouTube. I appreciate you having me on your platform, 78. Yes, and, sir. Uh, support the LDBC. My name is Amr. Uh my channel is Amr's Logic on YouTube. We talk Bucks and Packers Packers. If you into either one of those two, hey, feel free to subscribe. We got an open platform. Hey, it's it's a good time if you into the Packers and Bucks. And again, I want to salute seventy eight and the LDBC, and for again for having you uh, having me on your great platform, seventy eight. Appreciate man, I you, appreciate, I, man. I appreciate you, brother. I want to thank you. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to my brother's Amber Logic. Appreciate you know, man, best Milwaukee Bucks on YouTube. Hey, trying to hey, trying to do my thing. We got Bucks game tomorrow, so hey, yeah. let's get some positive vibes in the air. And I just want you know, the Bears is some suckers. That's what they is. The Bears <laughs> is some great <laughs> suckers. I knew you know, something was coming. Hey, just I knew so something was coming. Hey, hey, the Bears are some suckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I knew it. Hey, the lady for the Bears, the Lions, and Minnesota, they all suckers. You know what I'm saying? I knew it. Yeah, we out here. We ain't playing with y'all. I knew something was coming. I knew <laughs> I felt it. I knew hey. it. Like, bro, shout out to All right, 78. brother, I'm going to holler you in a minute. Bro, shout out to 78. Yes, go, sir. Bro. Peace, brother. <laughs> go, bro, <please. laughs>